Hi, I'm State Representative Ross Hunter from the 48th Legislative District. That's parts of Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland, all of the Points communities, and a little bit of Issaquah. My name is Jean Floten. I'm president of Bellevue College. President of our community college, which is now upscaled to be a four-year institution because we have two four-year programs, which I'm pretty excited about. We had some of the interior design folks in today, oh, and yeah. I know that we're doing really well with the radiation technology yes. uh, degree program, and all those kids are getting jobs, $85,000, $100,000 a year. Right. It's great. It great to wonderful. see. I know that you're seeing huge increases in enrollment because people need to get a job. They're, they're out of a job. They need to retrain. What's been the impact? People look to higher education yeah. as an opportunity to invest them, themselves yeah with the skills to re-enter the workforce, the jobs that existed yeah. before the recession are not necessarily the jobs that are going to pull us out of recession. And so I'm not sure some of those jobs are even coming back. I, and I agree with you. I think some are obsolete. And students really know this. They come in to retool. They okay. come in to reskill. Uh, they come in really wanting to emerge in the next couple of years with credentials that will give them access to a path upward. And we are bursting at the seams. We, uh -huh. we are serving 16% more students than the state is funding us to do. Uh -huh. uh, and this is on top of, as you know, a 13% budget right. reduction last year. What's been the impact of those budget cuts? Well, our college is truly the pathway for working adults mm -hmm. and also for people that are living in poverty or slightly above poverty. And it's had a huge impact on students that are trying to scrape together enough money to attend our institution. We, we have had stories of students sleeping in their cars because they've had to give up their dwellings. Some of them have been in homes, have gone into foreclosure. Wow. And they, they do that to save enough money because this is their only hope of a better future. We have mm. single moms that come and say, is there a food voucher? I had to feed my child this morning. I'm out of food. Yeah. And you know, our employees are reaching deeply in their pockets to help these students. Mm -hmm. I mean, their stories are so devastating. Yeah. And uh, so what's the impact? As tuition goes up, more people aren't right. able to participate in higher education. And this year, I know the governor was forced with some really tough choices. And in, in her book one budget, um, she talked about the need to reduce financial aid. And when she came out with her second budget, she made a plea to reinstate financial aid in the form of state need grants uh, to students that are in the highest level of low level incomes. Right. And, what uh, does that mean in reality? What, what does yes. the highest level of low income mean? Well, for us, it means that about 275 students at our college uh, will not get aid. And it means hundreds of students that participate in the work study program won't have access to employment while they are a student that facilitates them going to school. Okay. So, um, and in our system, those numbers become huge. It's about 34,000 students. So their aid would go down. Right. But we also increase tuition. So what right. happens there? I mean, this is like a double whammy. Yes, it is a double whammy. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Tuition goes up, aid goes down. Right. What happens? You have people that they frankly can't. can't come to the institution. And many of these people, their unemployment benefits have run out. Yeah. Um, they're desperate. Mm -hmm. They are truly desperate when they come to us. We receive worker retraining money, thank you, from the mm -hmm. state. And that money is depleted. Um, so we are in the position right. of having to say to a number of people, we understand your situation, but we're out of resources. And we are referring them to other colleges and have learned from other colleges that they're, they don't have any money them, either. they're referring them back to us. Right. So we are doing the best that we can in okay. any money we have available. But I guess our message to the legislature is we're realist. We know you can't reinstate last year's budget. But if there's any way at all of preserving these services, uh -huh. it really makes sense to not only our students, but also our communities. It's certainly yeah. cheaper to pay for two years of worth of education than welfare or incarceration. And higher education. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than incarceration. It's, uh, what, what's the full, I mean, we, we charge, how much are we charging tuition in community college these days? For um, a full year, it's about, it's a little over $2,000 at 
And that's, that's just for tuition, it's not for books. And what's the actual cost of providing that education for a student? Um, the reimbursement that we get from the state and uh, tuition is about $6,000. So, you know, it's not just solving the tuition and having the tuition go up, and there's a huge subsidy from the state, a there huge is. investment in, in our, the quality of our workforce here so that we can attract employers. And this is, hearing about this college is one of the things that I hear most from employers in my district is that they want to make sure that the pipeline of employees is coming out unabated. So I'm really concerned with this budget and I'm hoping that we can sort of keep ourselves limping through this so that we don't really damage one of the key artifacts. You're now the third biggest college in the state, is that right? We will probably serve 35,000 students this year right. on duplicated headcount. And yes, and that does make So the sense. UW's about 45, and Wazoo is about? About the same size as we are. Wow. Yeah. So that's something that people I don't think know, is how many people really are affected by this, this one institution, and what happens when we make changes in the budget. I, I'm worried that there'll be people who won't just they're stuck. They, they can't get a job. They need the training, and we don't have a way to get them the training. So this is one of the reasons that I'm really concerned about this year's budget. Um, there's one thing about cutting the budget and making you sort of do weenies, not shrimp, but just the bun isn't going to work. So thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.